Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X. This time, super happy to get into another episode of League of Legends Arcane. For those who don't know, we've been doing this now for about two months, and this is the second to the last episode of the first season's episode eight. Looks like it's gonna be an uh, absolute blast. This season has been really good all the way around, pretty much uh, the writing, the animation, everything. Don't get me wrong, nothing's perfect, and there are pieces that I'll like criticize here and there. But I really do think this has been a great product and they've earned more than a second season. They've put a lot of work, time and money into it. And they've stuck true to a lot of the League of Legends stuff that they had originally been into. Obviously, there are characters I like and don't like and uh, story pieces that I don't like and don't like. But I think altogether it's really good and worth a watch. I'd, I definitely would suggest this to anybody to watch, right? Like whether they watch League or not. Uh, having said that, if you enjoyed watching arcane remember to support the original content by watching it buying it playing league because if you don't then you know what was their they're, they're, they're marketing for that that's why they do it okay plus they also wanted to make money off the enemy but you know we also got to support them if we want to get another season i mean they'll obviously make it anyway but still you should check it out support them if you liked watching with us i'll tell you how to you know support at the end of the stream and if not hey I totally get you. I hope uh, to do better in the future. So let me know what I can do to improve. And I will try to do that. With that said, we're going to get right into episode 8. Because I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, there's a lot riding on the line between all these characters. And we don't have too much time to wrap up everything, right? I feel like there's not going to be a whole sense of completion at the end of this season. We're just going to wrap into the next season because I feel like they're already planning it. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe it does have this really final set of com uh, final sense of completion by the end of the next episode where everything's wrapped up. But I feel like that, that there's just so much going on in the story that they're going to lead into. Like, it's going to be one of those endings where the main problem here of, like, the fight kind of between... Vi, Jinx, and the Caitlyn and stuff is somewhat settled-ish. Obviously not, though, because we have them doing stuff in the future. Anyway, I don't want to ramble too long. We're already at two minutes, but I'll see you guys in this episode. We, we reset up all the desks and moved the whole setup. In fact, I can already see one of the pieces is messed up over here. How crazy is that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, the art style here is so interesting. Once again, it's so reminiscent for me of the League opening screens. And then, and then, uh, I think this is what, Madarda, right? I'm guessing is a youngin. When I was 10, oh. your grandfather brought me to the aftermath of the Battle of Hildenard. Hildenard. me a gold coin for every blade I retrieved from the Fallen. From the Fallen. the steel. But okay. I knew it was a lie. He wanted me to know death. Who is this? Kino says, War from your throne. I will give you the world, child, if you prove you can take it. Interesting concept. I really like this. This dialogue is very good. Sometimes the dialogue is insanely good. Like, I, I gotta tell you, good dialogue goes a long way with me. What Who did you do with her? Her, Madarda's mother reminds me of something. And who is this? Or is she going to do it and then he's going to go bad? Nope. Called it. A they... Wolf has no mercy. A wolf has no mercy. Was that the Zed Claws? Those looked interesting. I like that they're covering that high level kind of Game of Thronesy uh statecraft stuff. Ah, oh, so happy. Uh look at all the soldiers he ended up getting killed for his fucking I guess technically that was Jinx though, right? Sir? You alright? You gonna throw up? Hey, yes, because he's not seen stuff like that. Good writing. Those are gruesome scenes, guys. Yep, he's gonna... Yep, that's gonna be the push. He's gonna become like... Yep, oof. 
but once again you bring trouble when you do stuff like it's there's it's rough because they put you in situations right where if you lash out and look violent when you're being oppressed then it makes you look like the unreasonable one i actually stole that line from the hit monkey series we've been watching see now this is what i like because this look should give her a pump up right what like after these chemical runs she should e be even stronger faster or something right or crazier either way that's a great push to where jinx should be from where she started i love this i love it so much because all right we're gonna do another stop which we try not to do too much but i want to say because typically shows brush way too much over damages right like everything marvel does it DC does it. Every show, series, and everything does it. This right here, this whole scene, is already, uh, like, pushed into the thing. I think it's interesting they're pushing the actual care for Silco now. So he's actually developed feelings for Jinx. Ooh! He is a wild one. Jinx gets a whim. Suddenly he spines Meracelli. And here you are, shoveling his shit. Mm -hmm. But this guy's a pussy, apparently, because he's not ready to actually fight. He's just playing the underside. Which, the thing is, it's not that that always makes you someone who can't fight, right? But he's he, he was not he's not ready to fight any Silco, Jinx, or her. There's bigger fish than Silco. Mm. So, like, uh... Seeing him play these underhanded games, you kind of just like a kind of know that he's probably not a strong guy, right? Like, that's why he has to do it this way. He's not gonna fight Silco and Jinx and them, he's just kind of a little bitch. As we also saw in the other one, right? Who is this supposed to be? I still have the blades reminded me of Zed, and the masks do too. Is this like the, the Order of Shadows or some shit? What was it? I can't remember who all was in the ninja thing. Can I not visit? I knew it. War is coming. You've let the problems of your undercity fester too long. Piltover isn't like Noxus. War mm. is not first and every recall. So they are from Noxus. Okay, Noxians. Protect the city, not burn it to the ground. Well. It's a fact. Weapons can't be unmade and they are always you. Ah, she knows what's I'm up though. To help guide you to the right decisions. I'm not sure about I all that. Your guidance. We'll see. Who the f is that? Yes. yes. It's for me, dear. I was not say I don't recognize him, but also seems I'm off to sample the local oh. cuisine. Oh my goodness, is that what it is? He's just a pretty boy because so that we can see that it's her her booty call. Is that what I'm getting from that? I don't know. That's funny though. I think that's we'll awesome. Present our what happened to her? It's not your fault. Not her fault for sure, but it wasn't like she didn't make mistakes, right? She did overact and do the um. How do you used to share a bed like this? the your jinx thing which kind of pushed jinx towards it that was that was her big mistake of this probably this whole thing bigger and bigger no monster's gonna get you when i'm here and a real monster showed up see this is like a really heartwarming part i left her like i said that was her mess up there just yelling that running off because Ooh, she all fucked up, but I love that that's so accurate, right? If you got a bomb right next to you, oh, and she's using the same shit. But it's not going to bulk her up, huh? She's going to just get something else. Maybe crazier? See, I also like it because... Uh, oh, they're, it's him, right? Yep, okay. Damn, look, he's all starting to get messed up. Ooh! See, that's a good spot for it, and I also like it because the her already um, tentative mental state of insanity, right, mixed with the drug use, definitely could push her into that state of absolute bad shit craziness that we see her get to. Damn, look at his blade. He's not gonna be happy. He wasn't banished though. He's here for something. 
I don't think he was banished from the city. You see what? Unfortunately, though, he's got. You got to remember this. At least as 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 he is the ruling body of that prosperous city. This is at least partially on him originally, right? This is why I was kind of mad at him. Is like, I I know he's uh, he's trying to do good, right? He's not doing. Oh no way! Oh, bro, that's dope. I made her like a little top. Like this. Get away from her. Hmm. But I know he did it all from a place of good, right? So he's trying to prevent evil from coming into the city by not, like, pushing forward Jason and them stuff. But he's also, like, kind of stuck in his old ways, right? And that's kind of his fault, is that he is so old and experienced that it's tough for him to to push out, try new things, take risks, and do those. Because, like, imagine... Oh, he found the board. Everything's felt very good this episode. Everything's been justified. Everything's been well pushed. Oh, I want to see. Yes. Look at his leg. It's actually just metal. And shimmer. Whoa. That actually looks really cool. Uh-oh. No, no, no. He's going to keep... Mm. But is it because he hasn't fixed what's wrong yet and it just did his leg? Or is he just... Uh-oh. Sky. Hmm. Oh. I just hope he doesn't... Hit. That's the thing. He's gonna go too far. We know he is. It would have been cool if he just, you know, did the one and fixed up so that he doesn't die, right? Oh, he needs more shimmer shit. Oh no, is he gonna have to... No, he's gonna kill her, isn't he? Or is he gonna accidentally kill her? It's leading towards something not... Did he cut them into his body with the scalpel? Nice! That's fucking crazy. This is leading up, but I feel like they needed more lead up for her, whatever's gonna happen to her. Like her death, or him having... Not having, but him choosing to kill her. Or her dying from the experiment and messing it up. What's gonna go wrong here? Something's gonna go wrong, right? Yep, she's gonna get like exploded, isn't she? Oh. N <laughs> he should. Yep. <sighs> Unfortunate. They didn't build it up enough, though, to care for me to care about her. They had that one scene earlier, right, where she we kind of knew she liked him. But, uh... Oh, is it do his whole body now? Or just his hands? Yep, and she's gone. But I think that needed a little more build-up to be super traumatic. Oh, and he cared about her, too. Unfortunate. Oh, wow, the Hextech evolved, though. Looks even... Now it looks sinister. Before it looked mechanical kind of messed up, but now it looks actually kind of sinister. So, we got a deal, pretty boy? <laughs> With her dumbass giant hand. And I don't mean that as in it's stupid, but it's so big, it's dumbass big. That's what I mean. <laughs> this is easier said than done, though. That means you need to have a coordinated knowledge of all their manufacturing locations you need to hit them pretty well in sync because if they hit one and get news they'll start getting ready to protect the other ones I love that that just guns out let's go said fuck the council oh there's the hammer slash gun here's the thing though he needs to be sure to control his guys oh not Yep. So here come the shimmer guards, but then uh, Jace is probably gonna fuck them up. Hey, look at I told I called it right. Wow, they got suits though. This is cool. Wait, what? Are they the minions? Are these supposed to be minions? They kind of look like minions, like little, and they got the the face piece. 
She be, oh, she be whooping. Uh, goodbye to your mm, rib cage. Your sternum is just shattered. Yeah. Yeah. You had to do the yell. I feel like these definitely are kind of like precursors to minions almost. I don't know. They seem so bad at the ass, honestly, for the minions. You know what I mean? Oh, he hit a kid. He called those guys. Why are you all pissy? He knows what he did. He got a bunch of people killed. I hate it, too, because people be like, he's just a kid. Yeah, he's just a kid who got a bunch of people killed and knew exactly where he works. I hate that excuse. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Tragedy. Same with all those dead soldiers who were just doing their job. With their wives and kids. Unlike that one soldier who was actually a traitor. These guys were just out here doing their job, basically. The counselor called them. And that was it. You done fucked up, son. Don't pull the piece on the cops. You might get blasted, bro. That's just life. Wah, wah, wah. People just... I know, people are gonna hate me. They're gonna be... In the comments, he's just... Whatever, man. Oh, what? But they're, you know... What about all the people? All in a kid's factory. <laughs> this is the person that Jinx and Silco work for, so like... Jinx, obviously, either don't know or don't give a fuck, right? One or the two. Because... That's the thing, you can't not know. In the underground, all that shit goes around. Word of mouth spreads so fast, down low like that. Like, <laughs> there are no days where you come out and you're like, Hey, uh... Do you hear so-and-so? And even if you didn't do it, if the hood thinks you did it, you did it. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that was that's her uh spot hand, spout handle. Nice. Very cool. I feel like the cool brother saying that. Uh-oh, there's Jinx, huh? You should know already. You should already know. It's taking way too long to realize that. That it. And we got one more episode after this, so. That's gonna be the climax, right? Between Jinx and Caitlyn and them, and then probably also Silco. Uh. Good episode there. Um. I once again like it. I do think, once again, people use that in movies a lot to, like, emphasize, like, uh, tragedy and right like the death of a child and while that is absolutely sad and tragic and stuff that particular scene is like that kid hit the alarm pulled out the goons and got how many guards killed right I mean come on now and he had been caught too like he he was like thing. he went out of his way to break out go do that and then you know they got blasted in the crossfire when he started so it's an unfortunate thing but I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those th things where like there's only so much I can be sad about stuff like that and and be like well you just made a, the wrong choice uh, haven't said it man it's been a good episode I think there's a lot of stuff building for next season because I very much doubt we're going to see anything come to real fruition this season with the Medarda clan story stuff. That's definitely a setup for Noxus, right? And the Noxians and hopefully also, fuck, what is the other one? The one Garen and them are from, uh, I don't even fucking remember. That's how long it's been since I played, but it was a good episode. I, I do think that the music in this episode was really well done. Especially like some of the action-y tracks. Sorry, I just re remembered that this is not, uh... It doesn't stop playing for some dumb reason when I'm done with it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be doing that. I do want to give a shout out as always to everybody watching. Thank you for watching. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed as always, support the original content creator because without them making these great shows like this, we're not able to actually get to even review them, whether good or bad. And they put a lot of work and energy into it. I would also say try to do your best to support the artists and stuff and everybody who works on the project and not just the studio themselves, right? Because that's how we can help build the industry. And then, uh, you know, if you enjoyed watching with us here, you can always like, comment, subscribe, etc. All that great stuff. And... 
If you want to see more, you can check it out over on Patreon where we get to do the full episode uncut. You get to see all the pieces where we were, you know, not able to show it on YouTube basically because of copyright stuff. And uh, as always, if you liked watching, thank you. If you didn't like watching, let me know what you think I can improve on in the future in the comments below. And we'll catch you next time on Reactions with an next Arcane. I'm super happy to play. It's been a super fun one. And I can't wait for the next episode, next one being the last one. Also, since we know that's going to be the last episode next week, if you have any suggestions for new seasons and series that we should watch, uh, be, you know, be, be feel free to hit us up in our Discord, on here, on Patreon, where you can even vote on it if you are a patron. And uh, let us know what you think we should watch next here on YouTube, because I love chatting and learning new things about the shows from you guys or catching information that I missed or misinterpreted. So definitely hope so. Hope you guys have a great one, and I'll catch you next time.